Okay, this is the Sony F6000 camera and let's power on the camera. Let's see how to use the optical zoom and digital zoom. Okay, so I have a few objects there and we will zoom in. The zooming is done by this ring or you can do it with this button on the side also. So let's take a look here and notice that this ring can be rotated to the left or to the right. The ring is moving the lens a little bit and that causes the image to zoom in and zoom out. Zoomed in and zoomed out. Okay, if we zoom in, then let's take a look here. A bar will appear. So I'm rotating the ring and now we are at so-called 16 millimeters rotate the ring again and that bar appears so the zoom which at wide it is at 16 millimeters that's the w wide because the image itself is pretty wide now and it's narrower now okay so it starts from 16 millimeters and it goes up to 50 millimeters and that's tele so wide and tele, telephoto. Okay, and zooming can be done by this button also. You have to move this one up or move it down. It has the wide and tele there also. Now it's zooming in and now it's zooming out. I moved it down. Okay, and that's an electronic thing, so if you uh, take off the lens, then this zooming won't do anything. Neither that, so they are both electronic. If I power off the camera, the lens is retracted, but nothing happens if I turn the wheel. And nothing happens if I push this button up or down. Okay, so let's see how to use the digital zoom also. That was the optical zoom. To use the digital zoom we have to go into the menu. So press the menu button. Okay, and let's go here to the second icon. Up and there to the second. Now using the same arrow keys go down to the third page. So second icon and third page. And here we have zoom settings. And set to optical zoom only. So enter that one using the middle button and let's set it to clear image zoom that is already a digital zoom so the first one is optical and the second and the third one is digital zoom let's try the second one get out from the menu and the same thing let's rotate the ring and now it has two areas the first area goes to 50 millimeters the bad part is that it's not stopping there and the other one, that 1.3x is added to it so now 15 millimeters multiplied by 2 and that's 2 times more zoom so if you calculate this one, so 50 is visible here also 50 millimeters is the zoomed in distance and 60 is the zoomed out distance if we take a calculator and divide 50 with 16, these two values, then it results a 3.1 times optical zoom. For simplicity, you could call it only 3 times zoom. Okay, and if we enabled the other one, the digital zoom, then we have 50 millimeters times 2, that is 100 millimeters divided by the lowest number which is 16 divided by 16 that's 6 times 6.2 times zoom and from this 6 times only 3 3 times zoom is optical and the rest is simply distorting the image it's simply stretching the JPEG or it's cropping into it okay and let's go to the last one menu the same thing zoom settings and digital zoom and this time now we have instead of x2 now it has x4 there it is so 50 millimeters times 4 
so 50 times 4 that is 200 millimeters that's the larger number and 200 would be divided with the smaller number 200 divided by 60 that is 12 times zoom okay and so this is optical zoom at the widest angle and that's digital zoom at the maximum of course you have to go further away if you zoom in too much because the objects won't be clear of course i should press the focus button this one now it's clearer so if you can try to avoid digital zoom or use the least distorting one which is clear image zoom that adds only a two times digital upon the three times optical okay that's the zooming function of this sony camera it's the alpha 6000 and we use the digital zoom and optical zoom let's turn off the camera the lens is retracted and that's it thanks for watching and bye bye